guess what's the cost of flying this premium business class cabin alone? Unbox China Airlines A350-900 Complete Lie Flat Seat Tour Amazing Japanese Set Meal On Board Which seats can spot Mountain Fuji? Hi, I'm Tree Papa, a travel enthusiast and proud father of three. Discover family-friendly spots and tips of making the most of your travels. Join me, let's explore together! Welcome to Tokyo, Japan. It's an amazing city, full of interesting tourist spots, unique cultures, and of course, my favorite part, Japanese food everywhere. However, the lovely journey ended so soon. Now we are heading to Narita Airport via Narita Express train. Before I reveal the topic today, fly China Airlines, A350 business class alone with no others. As always, I will let you know how I got to Tokyo from Taipei. Previously, I flew with the new Taiwanese carrier, Starlux, on the A350-900 in both first and business class with Tree Mama. We experienced the newly opened flagship lounge, the Galactic Lounge, in Taipei Airport Terminal 2. Don't miss the signature mini Wakyu beef burger. Honestly, Starlux provides the smoothest ground services I ever experienced before. How about the comparison between the first class suite 1K and the business seat 2K? Check the link below for full details. We are now at Tokyo Narita Airport and took this elevator to Terminal 2 Departure Hall. Today we will fly Sky Team member China Airlines Business Class from Tokyo to Taipei. Business passengers are entitled to enter through Sky Priority Check-in here. Kind of interesting? It's a hard requirement. We must put a name tag on each luggage. Say goodbye to my luggage. We'll see you in Taipei. Welcome to Narita Airport. We are in the Terminal 2. And today we will fly China Airlines in business class. And as a business class passenger, we are entitled to use the fast check from here for first class business class. Passengers can go through this security. All right, let's go. Through fast lane, it took only 10 minutes to pass security and automatic passport control and arrived airside. Super fast. Time to explore the lounge. All right, let's take a look at the map. Right now, we are right here after the security. And the China Airline Lounge is actually M6. It is somewhere. A few walks over there. Let's go. It won't be too difficult to navigate to China Airlines' own operated lounge here. By the way, I had another video giving you a comprehensive report of this lounge. Find the link in the description. In general, they provide all the business lounge essentials for food and beverages. It's a good place to have a short break instead of waiting at the gate. Let's prepare to board at gate 71. Today, we'll fly this A350-900, one of my favorite aircraft. However, the ugly truth is that this aircraft is six years old compared to Taiwanese competitors like EVA 7A710 and Starlux A350-900 on the same route, offering below two-year-old new jets. Well, let's get on board, see what's the seatings from China Airlines. Flying Sky Team Business. Simply follow any sign with Sky Priority in red color. Follow me. Their business class cabin has a 1-2-1 configuration with 32 seats. China Airlines also equips premium economy and economy classes on this aircraft. Look at this elegant cabin design, wooden pattern and ambient light. The most shocking news is that we are the only business class passengers today. So lucky we simply paid for two business one-way tickets and that's all. Let me finish my job to give you a complete seat tour. Alright, let's have a seat tour on board China Airlines A350-900. So this is business class C, has an ILSS. Let's take a look. Ah, very comfortable with a large seat. And this compartment got a storage area, so the remote and also the universal power socket, USB charger, and headphone jack, another USB charger, all right here with a mirror. Okay, that's it, right? And another smaller compartment can put uh, like a passport or a handphone. So I will put my charger inside. And the design is actually quite elegant with the wooden pattern. And you can see this lighting also very elegant with the dragon foot. Here 
the document pocket got the standard safety instructions. Alright. And here's a reading light and the chair with a three point belt. And right here, the armrest got a headphone inside, and this is a new headphone. Take a look. Alright. With a China Airline logo on it, and it looks much better than before. Later, we'll see how's their performance. And here you got a hanger or jacket, and this is a table for the, your dining purpose. Slide down and then fold like this. Brilliant. Okay, let's enjoy the flight. Give you some more details here. China Airlines has upgraded the new headset design this year. Finally, the performance and comfort are way improved compared to the previous blue one. Simply plug it in right here. I like this design. The connector won't easily drop off. A clear mirror is an essential nowadays. Legroom is decent. And I also spot the safety jacket right here. A small storage area is perfect for my filming gear. Let's check out the golden pillow and the blanket. Quite comfortable to have it while on board. Slippers are the highlight for China Airlines. They are very comfortable and available on all business routes. Don't forget to ask. I like adjustable armrest design. It could enhance comfort. Here is where they store the headset hard case. Seat control for different seating modes. You will definitely need it while flying in the air. Want to read your book during the journey? An overhead reading light is available. Now they serve a hot towel and welcome juice. We pick the seat on the right window. If we are lucky, we will spot Mount Fuji after taking off. We'll see. The safety video is on. Now please fasten your seatbelt. Adjust the seat to the takeoff position and turn mobile devices to flight mode. Enjoy the Narita Airport views and, of course, the China Airlines A350-900 takeoff engine sound. Before I reveal the onboard services and business class meals in the air, I hope to be inspired by my hard-working videos. Your like and subscribe to encourage me to provide more quality contents in the future. Definitely lucky day today. Look at the amazing mountain Fuji view. Don't forget to choose the seat at the right. This entertainment screen does the job. The movies have Chinese subtitles and good selections of Hong Kong movies as well. However, the responsiveness is a bit behind nowadays. Soon, the signature mocktail and Japanese sake, which is only available on the Japan route, were served with China Airlines business snacks. Cheers to my loved one. For the onboard meal, I chose the Japanese meal. It came with two boxes. The red one is at room temperature, and the black one is warm. I can't miss the rice and miso soup. To be honest, this is the best China Airlines onboard meal I have ever tasted. Highly recommend it. Let me see what Tree Mama is doing. She got China Airlines signature business class meal presentation with a small appetizer, a premium salad, and the main course. Today, she opted for chicken rice. 
By the way, their pastries are tasty. I just noticed the Japanese meal doesn't come with bread, so I ordered a couple of garlic bread for myself. Even though I had a lot of food in the lounge, I still want to enjoy the onboard meal. Itadakimasu. After the lovely meal, originally I'd love to try other seats and walk around, but while I tested the lie flat seating mode, it was just so comfortable that I fell asleep. After I turned off the cute light, so soon it's about to descend from my three hour journey. The only drawback is privacy, somewhat lacking here. Before landing, let's quickly take a look at the loo. It's right behind the cockpit with mirror and lighting facilities. Amenities include Pure Attitude brand fragrance and lotion. The hand wash has the same brand, equipped with a contactless tap. There are two types of hand tissues, paper cup and toilet paper. Flash button here. Chinese painting artwork on the wall. A cold hook. And that's all. This special private A350 900 business class journey is about to end. Overall, it was an amazing experience on board a luxurious business class seat with no other passengers. Everyone may have a chance to experience such outstanding services. Now we are approaching Taipei. Please fasten your seatbelt and enjoy the landing view of Taipei Airport. Look at this memorable cabin again. Thank you, China Airlines, for giving me this VIP chance, maybe just once in a lifetime. Welcome to Taiwan Taoyuan International Airport. For the arrival, I also booked the meet and greet assistant from Huan Yu VIP. After entering the airport, we will be greeted and taken by airport buggy to the VIP terminal with customs officers and premium lounge facilities. I ordered my favorite steak with pasta. And I will have a complete report about their facility in a separate video. That's all for the flight report today. Hope you like all my content. See you next time. In my next video, we visited Hotel Sheraton Tao Yuan. It's only 10 minutes by hotel free shuttle from Taiwan Tao Yuan International Airport. I unboxed both executive suite and king bedrooms and visited the club lounge happy hour. Well, how about the all day buffet there? Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.